Well, Carly will have more information on that coming up here in just a moment, Mark. And right now, though, we want to look at live Doppler 2 HD. We're seeing dry weather out there tonight and looking to the northwest. There is what we call a derecho making its way through Chicago, and it's producing strong winds. It's been doing that all across Iowa, Illinois, now entering the northwest part of Indiana. Numerous severe thunderstorm warnings and severe thunderstorm watches are in effect with that. We have a low risk of severe weather here late this evening as some high winds will be the primary threat as that line moves into our area. But right now, as Mark mentioned, it's just beautiful out there. Other than the high humidity, uh, you'd never think anything's heading our way with all that blue sky. Currently in Dayton, 86 feels like 91. 84 in Springfield feels like 90. 86 in Springboro feeling like 91 degrees and 86 with a heat index of 90 out at Wright Pat. We'll stay dry next several hours, even up through 9 o'clock. Still looks like dry weather dropping back into the upper 70s. But around 9 o'clock in our northwest counties, there could be some strong thunderstorms moving into Mercer County and shortly thereafter covering the rest of the region. And I'll have more details on that coming up in the Storm Team 2 forecast. As I mentioned, Carly has more information on what we call a derecho, what it is. Yeah, Brian, there was a peak wind gust estimated around 112 miles per hour in Midway, Iowa. This is the line of storms that will eventually impact the Miami Valley later on this evening. These storms developed over northern Nebraska and strengthened over Iowa with several wind reports over 90 miles per hour. As you can see, the path of the damage reports covers almost 500 miles across the state of Iowa and into Illinois. This long swath of damage makes the storm official uh, derecho. Only the strongest wind storms or squall lines categorized as a derecho. The Miami Valley does fall into the derecho prone uh, region. According to the Storm Prediction Center, there's still only about one every year within this entire region. Overall, derechos are rare. Their straight line wind damage must be recorded more than 250 miles. The wind gusts are consistently 58 miles per hour or greater with several spaced out gusts 75 miles per hour or greater. The last notable derecho in the Miami Valley was was on June 29th in 2012 and the current derecho is about 150 miles from the Miami Valley and will track into the region later on tonight. Mark. All right, Carly, thank you. All excellent reasons to, if you have not done so so far, please download that free uh, Storm Team 2 weather app and you can track it on Live Doppler 2 HD as it rolls in later tonight. All right, there is more.